Hello, how are you today? I want to talk to you about some of the influences of the energies, particularly the new moon, which is coming up. I want to explain a few things as part of uh, your journey. You have levels of karma. You have earthly karma, cosmic karma, universal karma, and it will all come up at some point. Now, given that many people are a couple of years into their journey, you're dealing with cosmic karma right now. But here's the weird thing about it. You're not going to see people from some other planet. They are all showing up here, showing you their bad sides or showing you their good sides. And everyone is here to kind of give back whatever they've taken. But when it comes to how does this influence you and you going through this journey. I'm going to tell you something that is somewhat of a paradox. In life, men tend to be on the top and women are on the bottom. But in this ascension, the women are on the top and the men are on the bottom. How is that possible? Well, the men and the masculine energy is what I really should say. It's not just men, but masculine energy is sort of under supporting or pushing and lifting. Now they're getting pushed big time. But what this means for female people, feminine people, feminine energy people, whether you're male or female, and you identify as that, what this means is that you're going to get a push forward. You're going to get intensity. Why? Because masculine rising. Now many times it is an energetic push first and there's something else to know particularly at this new moon. This new moon is intended to literally unplug you from things that you don't need to be plugged into anymore. And you might sit there and say, oh, but I want to hang on to it. It's my security blanket. It's like reading a good book. Like you're, you're totally in the thing, but you've been reading that book over and over or watching the show over and over and someone takes it away and you don't know what is going to replace it. That is the invisibility factor of this moon. What is invisible? What can't you see? What are you not seeing? What's a little bit hidden? And can you let it go? Because what you see on the surface, sometimes with people, if we take male-female relationships, I'll give you a really good example. I had a friend once, she was going to get married and we met her prospective husband and he was charming, he was handsome. I mean, he just, he was checking like so many boxes and they got married and he had a beautiful wedding. They had one of those big fat Italian weddings. But then the chinks started to show up in the armor. Okay, she went to her bank once and her bank didn't even know how to tell her, but he had slowly been draining her bank account for his gambling addiction. Yeah, and money she had built up since a teenager, which was substantial, like probably close to six figures, he had taken it. Now, at that point, you're already married. What do you do? Why did you not see this stuff to begin with? Why have they hidden it from you? Why don't people talk about this? Why do some people think it's normal? This is what happens when we leave the old dimension and the cosmic influence of what went wrong starts to show up and can rear its ugly head, but it's there for you to not dilly-dally and make a decision. Okay, it may be a hard decision. The other thing that, you know, comes up with people is that they are stubborn. That is an aspect of this moon energy. It's in Taurus. It's stubborn and yet it's grounding. It's very earthy. It's intended to help you with your personal empress energy. Now, a lot of people will cling to someone or something because it's all they've ever known. And that happens. It's kind of been human nature, but it's also a base human nature. It is not your higher nature where you can just very abruptly say, no thanks, it's not for me anymore. For most people, it takes time to wean themselves away from whatever it is. And that can, you know, I don't mean to be vague, but it will have a lot to do with people. This energy is also a lot of about male-female relationships, but it's not just what we think of as romantic male-female relationships. Again, I'm going to say about the masculine energy being under, what have they supported and what are they no longer supporting? Okay, what needs to be voted in? What are the bosses doing? What are the leaders doing? Can they lead? Are they themselves overwhelmed? Because they are not supposed to be, you know, the hero on a horse for everyone and everything. Proper support is 
happens from the inside out, from the heart going forward, not from the mind down, because that just pushes things down. It doesn't really always bring change. If you're going to bring, be a positive vessel for changes, and this is a big focus on personal transformation, this is when you really take charge of things in your life and you say, no more. I'm setting a boundary, I'm drawing the line in the sand, and I'm not crossing this. So this happens, yes, of course, in romantic relationships. Someone wants to use you, or they're just showing up to be an intimacy buddy, right? Never take you on a date, never ask you to dinner. You're pining away, you're asking you're wondering, they never call you, or they just text you at 3 a.m. or something, okay? Get rid of them, lose them, lose their number, block them, do whatever you have to do. Make a decision and stick to it because that is what it takes. That is what this energy is about. It's making those hard decisions and I can't sugarcoat some of this stuff. This is really pushing people to get out of relationships that they don't belong in. It shows up physically. People have knee aches, foot aches, their hips ache, and sometimes inside them, usually all the time, they know. They know deep inside them, like, I need to get out of this. They just don't know how, and they just don't know what they would do after that. How long are people going to stay with the husband knowing that you can't just keep pasting it over saying, oh, we have a contract, we have a contract. Here's what happens. Sometimes that husband in the rising up masculine energy starts moving into position where he needs to be. And that's when the ego gets involved and you say, well, we can't, you know, break up. Even if that's what you've been wishing for all along, you've been wishing it, wishing it, wishing it. Or you have a job and I've seen people do this. They hate the job. They talk nasty. They uh, malign their boss and maybe I don't know maybe it's some of it's is valid it's not the way to go about it it's not worthy of us and knowing your worth means not going and standing up to that person and saying all these things it means saying it to your higher self who can say tell you know correct you and pause you and say okay I know but let me open these doors over here because that's where you need to be and we're gonna properly graciously say thank you and exit and say no thanks no more, we can't do that. We are leaving and doing it in the proper way, in the proper timing, okay? So that there's peace, so that there's harmony because people, even people who are spiritual will sometimes misguidedly get angry or think that they need to, you know, bark back. We do push back, but it can be done in a way where it's just firm but gentle. I need to go now. I need to set these boundaries and this energy is going to help you do it. Why? Because the solstice is coming up and that is the pivot point. And you will see the haves and the have-nots. Who are the haves? It's not the people who have somebody. It's the people who have done the work and the have-nots who have not done the work. Meaning the body work, the breath work, the light body expansion, the integration, and those hard decision things. Now some other things that you may not be aware of is there is upgrading to be had. Part of the reason that you're not sure like if you, you know, am I staying at that this level or what of my half going on. There's a whole new vibrational level that you live at where really sweet coincidences happen, where the energies are conducive, where it seems like everything in the universe is reaching out to help you. That really exists. It is not heaven on earth. It is not 5D on earth. You still have those areas to get to, but that is your launching pad. So when the masculine is pushing up, that's where he's pushing the feminine too, so that she can leap off, catch her breath, and really be in the mode of, okay, I've arrived at this level, now I've gotta breathe, see what else I need to do, find my new things, find, you know, get the guidance, get the proper messages for herself, and be the empress, be the empress of her domain. That is what a lot of this energy is about. It is about leading energetically. It's about sending out that vibe that lets people know you're self-confident, I'm empowered, I'm an empress of my domain. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is very decisive, strong, but still feminine. It's not strident, it is sweet and lovely and there are people who want more of that and want to be that because why they have lost that side of themselves somewhere somehow and you start to gain it back and that alchemy where it flows and it flows in and you're sending your vibe out that is the result of doing the light body work of 
finding your niche, finding your real calling of the heart, um, gathering the people around you that you want, even helping family members. Because sometimes family, they're not the ones ascending first. You're the hub in your uh, group or your small circle of family, friends, and it kind of ripples out. Those positive vibes go to other people. Believe it or not, despite the news media, we do want to see people well, doing well, especially people that we care about, especially yourself. You want to know that's where you were, here's where you are now, this is where you're going. And how do you get there? How do you get specific for what is important for you? It is through this process, okay? I remind you, it is a process. You make progress and it is a journey, okay? You can't do this overnight. You Rome wasn't built in a day. It's not gonna be dismantled in a day. All those things that people talk about that need dismantling where they hope some magical spaceship comes down, that ain't gonna happen, that just won't. Stop thinking it. Get off of those mindsets, okay? That's victim mentality, really, if you really boil down to it. Get in the sense of personal empowerment and integration of your light body. That is what gets the results. So I'm here to help with that. Um, my channel is devoted to twin flame healing, teaching, coaching, and guidance. I'm having a new moon workshop coming up May 18th and 19th. I have a morning segment and an evening segment. It is intended to be a two-day intensive to help you with some of these uh, questions and answers and self-improvement and really utilize the energies to your benefit. Thanks so much. I hope to see you there and I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like, subscribe, share my videos. If you have questions, write them into me. Use the email which is in in the description below and write me a question and I will try to answer it in a video. Thank you so much. Bye now.